Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman and Batman and Robin, Story 7 for 1945. So let's get started. Come on, Pep. The super delicious cereal presents the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Yes, it's Superman, whose friend Batman has completely and mysteriously disappeared from the Hall of Mirrors. Because she bears a striking resemblance to Dixie Lamar, a girl wanted for murder, Lois Lane was abducted in an amusement park by Dr. Bly, the cunning leader of Dixie's confidence gang, who schemes to pin the murder on Lois. Meanwhile, Clark Kent and Batman were hunting for the girl reporter, and for Jimmy Olsen and Dick Grayson, who is really Robin, Batman's young companion both of whom had disappeared in the amusement park. Spotting a white-haired man in dark glasses, whom they suspected of being involved in the mystery, Kent and Batman pursued him into the Hall of Mirrors, where they became lost in the maze of glass. Suddenly, a trapdoor opened beneath Batman's feet, and he cried out and disappeared. As Kent searches desperately, his X-ray vision unable to penetrate the lead backing of the mirrored floor, Batman, plummeting down through inky black space, lands in a deep vat of ice-cold water. Listen. Roller coaster 
Ken. Hang on, Robin. We'll find that pipe and climb out. I'll do the swimming. Now you keep your hands on the wall. Okay, but... Oh, damn it, shower. It reminds me of how cold I am. I, I hate to stay so bad, man. It's getting awful rough. Just keep kicking hard. That'll keep your blood circulating. What? Take a pin in me and all you'll get is this icicle. I'm worried about Jim. A little more of this cold storage will never get him thought out. Well, I'm worried too, plenty. Any sign of a pipe, Ed? No. Maybe it's inside the wall. I'll come to think of it, most pipes are. Well, let's not think about that. Batman. What's the matter? I can't close my hands. My fingers are frozen. Yeah. Tread water. Keep your hands together. I can't tread water. I, I feed. I can't move them. They're numb. Yeah. I'll hold you up. Take it. Oh, the kid just chilled to the bones. Eddie, you can't hold Jim and me both. Yes, I can. Just keep rubbing your hands together. I'll try to move your feet. Okay. But how are you going to find a pipe now if there is a pipe? Don't worry about it. I left Ken upstairs. He might be able to trace it. I'll let Hemingway got him too. Well, let's hope he didn't. A oh, bad man. You're shivering too. Well, not much. I'm okay. You are not. You better let me go and swim around and try to find that pipe. Don't be a chump. No, listen. Jim must be in more shape than, than I am. Let me go. Well, you keep quiet, Robin. Ken might trace it. Well, if he doesn't... Then it's true. No. When it gets light off... I'll find a way out. Are you kidding? It won't be light for hours yet. By that time... Well, come on, Robin, and help me yell. That might warm you up. What the use, Batman? You know we're done for. I don't know if it looks bad, but... Well, we've been in bad spots before, Robin. It's never as bad as this. Well, never mind. Now, come on, yell. Now, together. Help! 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 Holding Robin and the unconscious Jimmy Olsen in the icy water, Batman, his great strength waning, shouts for help as the giant roller coaster, as if in grim irony, thunders by outside and drowns his and Robin's cries. We'll return in a moment for the startling climax of today's episode. But first, here again is our good friend. You know, gang, it's a doggone easy to get those swell insignia and warplane buttons I've been telling you about. Seems like you must have dozens of them collected by now. Why, you don't have to spend any of your allowance for them. You don't have to bother with any box stops. You don't even go to the store and buy them. No, sir. They come as prizes in packages of that super delicious whole wheat flake cereal, Kellogg's Pet. Each button is enameled sparkling white with the insignia reproduced in brilliant red and yellow and blue and black. And you can be mighty proud of them, too, because they're the very same designs our Air Force men wear on their uniforms. Yes, sir. Ask Mom to get you a package of Kellogg's Pet. Then look inside for your prize an exciting insignia or warplane button. Yes, sir, you'll find a button in every package. It's your prize from P.E.P. -P Pep, made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. And now, back to the adventures of Superman. As Batman, Robin, and Jimmy Olsen face death in a tank of ice water under the Hall of Mirrors, Clark Kent, his X-ray vision unable to penetrate the lead backing of the mirrored floor, scratched a mark at the approximate spot where Batman disappeared. Then, searching 50 feet in one direction through the winding mirrored maze, he returned to the mark and searched 50 feet in the other direction. Now he has returned again to the mark. You know, Batman was right behind me when he disappeared. He couldn't have been hit on the head or dragged away. I would have seen him. I made sure there are no false corridors around here. I... Wait a minute. There's only one explanation. He must have dropped through a trap door. Nobody around so thought for these clothes. I hear voices down below shouting for help. Looks like a job for Superman. There we are, all set. Now to break through this pretty mirrored floor. I hate to do it, but whoever owns this place must be in on this deal. So here goes. Searching above, his keen eyes searching the ground below. 
Finally, unable to find either Lois Lane or the man with white hair and dark glasses, he drops to the ground behind the medical aid station, resumes his guise and garb of Clark Kent, and walks to the door just as Batman emerges. Batman! Kent! Kent, what happened to you? I, uh, I, I got lost in the Hall of Mirrors. Oh, good thing you didn't go through that trap door with me. What? Yes, I landed in a pad of ice water with Rock, with uh, Dick Grayson and Jimmy Olsen. Oh? Yes, if it hadn't been for Superman. Ah, I heard about it. Listen. Then I've got bad news for you. What is it? I just spoke to Inspector Henderson. Yes. I called him to come out here and help us look for Miss Lane. Well, he told me Miss Lane has been found. She has? Oh, where? How is she? Ken, she's in the city jail. The city jail? That's right. She's locked up there. But, but why? This is going to be hard to take, Ken. What is it? Tell me. Miss Lane is being held for murder. Murder? Yes, Kent. Murder. Lois held for murder. Is this some ghastly joke or is Batman serious? He's serious, all right, as we all know. Dr. Bly's sinister trap has evidently been sprung and poor Lois has been caught in its cruel jaws. What will happen now? Don't miss tomorrow's dramatic episode, fellows and girls. Tune in, same time, same station. And thrill to the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Fellows and girls, be sure to follow the adventures of Superman. Brought to you every day, Monday through Friday. Same time, same station. By the makers of that super delicious cereal... Kellogg's Pep. And for other thrilling adventures of Superman, see your local newspaper. Superman is also a copyrighted feature appearing in the Superman DC publications. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. So that was Superman and Batman and Robin, story 7 for 1945. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.